Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Pro Football Hall of Fame Archive exclusive. I'm your host, Jameer Howard, and I'm super excited to be joined by this year's Dave Boss Award winner of excellence, Mr. Mark Brown, for his entry in the 54th Annual Pro Football Hall of Fame Photo Contest. Mark, congratulations, sir. Uh, so much in order. Um, your photo back lit back up was selected by a panel of judges for this year's photograph of the year for the 2021 NFL season. Tell us all about it. I, I'm, 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 I'm speechless for once, which I think for many people that know me is, is not something that's fairly common with me, but um, I am just, I, I'm really just beyond speechless, surprised, thankful. Um, you know, I've entered this contest a couple of years now. Um, I, I have to admit with my scheduling, I literally got them in at the deadline. And, you know, I, I, I almost didn't do it this year. I just, I almost just didn't do it. And- Why is um, that? You know, it was just one of those things where I just was like, ah, you know, I had gone through it and I go back and forth a lot. And I, I've learned over the years that if, if, if I'm trying to figure out something that matters or I want to keep in like the special files right I go to the boss which is my wife and uh I just said hey what do you think of these and and she took to two of them and this was one of them so I'm I'm thankful I'm excited this is this is a great opportunity and I'm I'm just I'm excited by this well, Mark, so, so much congratulations is, is so definitely in order. Um, the image was taken during the Miami game against the Houston Texans, November 7, 2021, yep. this past season. Tell us about the picture as a whole. Okay. So um, just a quick side note. Uh, I almost didn't even actually get to cover this game. Um, I had a trip that was coming up that was going to be kind of a month long expedition and there was some noise about quarantining before leaving. And this game was kind of right on the brink of it. Luckily, I was able to do it. Um, shooting at Hard Rock Stadium is it, it's kind of one of a kind. And it's it, there's a there's a good side to be on and there's a bad side to be on for lack of better description. Uh, the, the shooting areas were, were different this year. Uh, the photographers were mostly confined to the four corners and not the end zones anymore. So. I just, you know, I just look at it as maybe you can get lucky. And if you're on the quote unquote bad side, which is, which is the backlit side. And I just said, you know what, I'll just, you know, I, I cover it, uh, cover the game, get everything that I can. And every once in a while, if there's an opportunity to try and, and, and play with, you know, certain sort of lighting or images or whatever you can do to try and, you know, create an opportunity. Um, I had tried a couple of different, players and times and what have you's uh, with, with, you know, trying to, you know, make a backlit image that wasn't, I, I don't know, just not, <laughs> they're just, they, they, they're hit or miss, you know, and right. this image uh, on this particular one, just, it just worked with the colors a little bit when, when I, I really like trying to do the silhouette things. And for some reason I just took to this one because it just looked like a classic quarterback pose. So, um, it's, it was just really that simple. I didn't, I, you know, the, the creative in me a little bit, I guess the slight creative and just playing with the colors it took. And I thought, you know what, maybe this could be something, maybe not. I don't now, know. Was Jacoby in the game or was it? Yes. During pre so okay. If, if you follow the dolphins, um, you know, obviously two is the biggest deal in town. That's but, right. Um, if I recall, uh, I, I, he had, he got hurt the, either that week in practice or the prior to, he was maybe going to play, not going to play, but he was, he suited up. Um, and, you know, Tua had some injury issues and in, on and off throughout the year. So I remember when the Dolphins signed Jacoby, I remember saying to myself, that, that's a good move. That's, that's a smart guy that you can rely on. He'll, he, you know, he'll win you some games. He won't hurt you this, that, the other. And, and he played often enough. And I kind of subscribed to the theory of like, you know, kickers are people too. Like nobody cares about the kicker. If they make it, they're loved. If they miss or whatever. So backups, I think deserve their time when, when they shine and when they play. And so, you know, it's not Tom Brady or it's not, it's Jacoby Brissett, a guy that's been in the league and 
right, he was right. the backup and that was just the game it wasn't it was the texans and the dolphins it wasn't uh it was i think it was not the prettiest of games but he got the job done and he just he ran in this thing and i just really liked the pose so I Mark, said, that's so funny because, you know, it was like November 7th. I was about to ask you, was there anything out of the ordinary that went on that day? And for you, it was like, I wasn't even going to cover the game. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and that's I the mean, picture that wins it for you. Yeah. It, I, listen, I. And you like wasn't even going to enter into the contest this year. Like, exactly. how crazy is that? Well, the, the funny thing is, uh, you know, so I've been in Miami about five years now. and. Okay. Hard Rock does pr provide certain light moments where the sunlight actually creeps through and you can play the shadow game there. And mm -hmm. I had a bunch of images from that game uh, that I thought worked pretty well with the light, you know, Jacoby handing off to Miles Gaskin, a couple of, you know, linebacker Jerome Baker, just, just light images. Um, and I didn't really, I just said, you know, I don't know. I just felt like the, the backlit image of Jacoby and the colors that popped. I just said, yeah. you know what? I, I don't know. I, you know, in these days, what's creative content, what's editorial correct, what is feature. I, there's just so much these days that I don't know. I just said, you know what? I like this image. And I guess the judges did too. And, I, you know, I remember when I got the phone call, I literally thought, somebody was like payback time for the joke. Cause I play jokes on people all the time. And I literally was like, no, seriously, you know, is one of the judges there? Like who, who what's going on? So, but the, the opportunity is just not lost on me. And it was just, you know, you, you just, you work, you work, you work, you work and you work and you continue to work. And you hope someday that maybe like something like this can happen and you have an image that, some people take to and you know maybe some people may say this is the dumbest photo i've ever seen some many people say it's cool i don't know i mean that's right. not for me to judge but i i certainly respect the contest the judges the way this all went yeah. down and I, I i still can't believe it and i just i'm i'm completely grateful so mark please educate us like what is the process your post process of editing so was that how the picture came out or you had to edit it because i'm telling you as a fan as a kid who grew up in the 70s you know i love the 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 glow the highlight the glow you know vibe right. of it all well there's so shoot so this assignment was with getty, getty images getty sport and when you're shooting editorial like it's the image you you mm -hmm. don't there's no you know post-processing like those images go in so that's it wow. you got to know your settings you got to know the light you got you, you got to you know listen there's a couple things here and there with croppings and tones but mm -hmm. on this particular image right here literally it was i i it was playing with the levels and just kind of see how and they just enhanced a little bit because at certain times when i tried to make like a backlit image you know, sometimes it was brighter, sometimes it was wetter. So when I was trying to get opportunities where the players, when the players come a little bit closer to the, the shadow side, they can be a little bit darker. So I just, just a little bit of level adjustments in it, and it just made it pop the way that I wanted it. So, but yeah, that's, I, I wish I had some grand, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not that good. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was the yeah. 2021 season. You're yep. number one and it was 17 games. Tell us about that season because you, you mentioned, you know, early when you were talking about COVID, Zoom, you guys like, you know, in special places. But this year yeah. it was wide open, full stadium, sidelines yeah, was, was full of people. It, it was, you know, there was it was great to be back. Um, I'm very fortunate with the opportunities that have been presented to me over the past couple of years. Uh, first and foremost, the constant assignments from Getty Sport and being able to cover a lot of the sports in the Miami market. But I've also been fortunate to work with a bunch of the teams that have brought me in to help out. And I, I just, it's just, I, I'm just thankful for the opportunities because a lot of things changed over the last couple of years. And I have the flexibility to travel on short notice and be able to go and do things. Um, you know, when I first got to Miami, I did a lot of work with the Dolphins themselves. And that gave me a lot of experience in terms of trying to do things from a team aspect versus an editorial aspect. Um, it 
it let me work with very high profile people and to kind of show the fact that it's like, hey, I'm not there to like, there's a job to do at the end of the right. day. And that's the most important thing is to tell the story or get the job done on whoever wants you there. Um, this particular year was a mix, was a mix of working for a bunch of teams and assignments with Getty. And I also had to figure it out because like I said, my November, December, I was going to be gone for the majority of those times on a expedition that was last minute canceled. So, right. um, I had to scramble a little bit towards the end of the year. Uh, this may have, I think this might've been my last assignment with Getty for the year. I might've had one more. I can't remember only because I had told them I wasn't going to be around. Don't count on me. And I don't want to, you know, I want to make sure obviously the games are covered, but, um, yeah, this was just one of those games where it was like, you know, and unfortunately, um, the backlit backup title kind of applies because um, the quarterback for the Texans at the time wasn't the usual starter and Tua wasn't right. playing. So it was just one of those games. It was wow. just one of those games. The Dolphins got it done. And um, yeah, so there you go. Mark, who were some of the people that reached out to you, your colleagues that reached out to you to say congratulations on this prestigious award? I haven't opened my mouth to anybody but my wife. I haven't said a word. Okay. I, 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 I listen. I mean, there's, I could tell you uh, a short list of, you know, if you say go for it, I'll make a phone call the minute we hang up, but I may, right. um, I, right. you, know, you, may, you may laugh at this, but don't count my chickens before they hatch. And uh, I just, I've just sat quietly and, and I've told my wife and I said, Hey, listen, guess what? You know? So <laughs> that's about it. That's right, because we're still going through the process and the press sure. release and yep. everything. So this yep. is really an archive exclusive. We're getting the exclusive <laughs> sure. interview before it actually hits the streets. Yes. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. That's amazing, Mark. And just overall, what does this honor mean to you to know that your history is going to be preserved here in Canton, Ohio, football heaven, um, among some of the great photographers? I, um, you know, I got into this into photography i would say later in life i'm a little bit say older than that you'd see the you know the average shooter now these days i've been doing it for you know a little over 10 years now um when i got into it i wanted to know everything about all the people that shot before me and who made this image how that image like i just wanted to learn because i just that's what i wanted to accomplish myself and i i've always said to myself maybe someday there's going to be just one for me, like, and I'll be extremely happy. And, you know, I never knew what it would be. I, you know, cause I did a lot of entertainment stuff prior to sports, along with sports. I've recently been involved in a kind of a lot of um, storytelling, like expedition sort of stuff. That's more on the personal side that I've enjoyed. Right. So to have this opportunity to have the single greatest sport on the entire planet, say that my photograph for one particular year is the photograph is it will never be lost on me the honor of this situation and i am just i wish i could like highlight more my like how grateful i am but i i i, I wouldn't think something like this would happen to a guy like me and, and this is the sort of thing where if you apply the correct work ethic and you just stick with it and you just keep grinding sooner or later, it's it, something it, it's going to happen for you the way you want it to happen. I never in a million years thought this would happen. Never, wow. never. And I can't wait to tell people about this and I can't wait to see the reactions, good or bad. That's great. I've always been a guy to say, I will tell you the truth as long as you tell me the truth. If you don't like it, I got no problems with that, but tell me why. If you love it, you can tell me why too. And, I, and, I, and I'm thankful. And that's what I think is great. Photography is that. It, 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 it sparks conversations, emotions, and um, I, 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 I can't believe it. I really can't. I, I can't. So. Well, you know, you, you said a lot there, and it is definitely a true testimony because like I said before here's a contest that you weren't going to be you know you weren't going to enter into um yeah. number two it was a game that you you may have wasn't going to shoot possibly and in right. three 
like you said, you peeped out the scenario, you let the shot come to you and you went for it and you submitted it. And then you get that phone call because I definitely got a chance to talk to Celine Chowry, who is our vice president <laughs> of museum operations. And he was like telling me, you were like, you're joking. You're joking. <laughs> You were like, stop playing. And I was cracking up when Celine was telling me that story. He was like, no, he said, like, you're joking at least five, seven times. Like, stop playing. You're joking. I, I just, I, I'm a New Jersey guy. And we, the, the guys and I at home, we just, that's, that's what we do. Um, and, uh, you know, a, a prank phone call is, is on the list of things that happens. So... <laughs> You know, I, this that's wasn't probably, a prank. This was yeah, not a prank at I, all. I, I, I think that's probably why I've kept my mouth shut because I'm still like, is this really? You know, so today I'm like, all right, if this if this happens now, I think I'm, I'm I think I'm good. So wow, wow. Well, <laughs> but congratulations it was, it was just, again, Mark. It was just one of those things that, um, yeah. You know, it's a it was a simple image. It wasn't even. It was just situational, and you go through the take at the end of the day, and you say, right. hey. I, I'm not trying to say it's the same thing, but you know how the NBA has the, the Jerry West logo? Yes. I just felt like when I saw Jacoby's pose, you just, you knew as a quarterback, it that's just, right. that's, I, I'm not saying that's it. So please, like, I'm afraid to even, but that's just kind of how I felt like, oh, maybe this could be nice. And that's that. No, it's definitely a hot mosaic look. And like I said, a kid growing up in the 70s, I love the, you know, the glow, the lights in it. I was like, yo, did he do some After Effects stuff? And you're like, yeah. no, this is the shot. Yeah, That's it's, amazing. I mean, it's, listen. That's amazing. There's some, there's some level play to it for sure. But right. it's, you know, because I am shooting it editorially. Mm. So that's why it was more of like in the afterwards, I was like, oh, let me see on this one. And, you know, that sort of thing. There, there were other images that I tried on, I'm like, no, no. Like then it just looked too stupid. And he did some slight adjustments on this one. I was like, there we go. But that wow. was that. So when you submitted the picture, you had no idea it was gonna go to this level. You were just like, here's my work. Well, yes, no, I, no, I, I don't even, that one was like, eh, you know, because I, I was a little bit kind of, um, how do I say it? You know, I, I just wanted to make sure with the way the rules and submissions, like I wasn't, right. I just didn't want to have anything where you're like, hey, and. I was, you know, the biggest, what I thought was going to be one of the biggest moments, and it is, was I got to shoot the Super Bowl for the Bengals this year. So I put in a couple of images from the Super Bowl, but listen, Ryan Meyer for, for the Cincinnati Bengals, who, who brought me a part of the team, I asked him, I said, hey, can I do a couple? Because like, this is your show, complete right. respect. Like, I don't, if you called me and said, oh, your Super Bowl image won and Ryan's did, and I'd be like, I'm not accepting. I can't do that. Like I would be devastated for him because he's such a talented photographer in his own right. And I would want that for him and what have you. So I, but I say, he goes, no, you absolutely send in photos. And I think that's great because he's a friend and it's just the way it worked. And, um, you know, there were a couple of images like the, the, the special teams guys warming up on the Super Bowl with so far behind, you know, maybe it's not the greatest of all, but it was this year's Super Bowl. Right. It was limited for people to be there. And I thought, you know, maybe one of these would have a shot or what have you. Right. Um, you know, there was a couple other games that I shot for getting some of the other teams that gave me some great access. And I thought, you know, maybe a couple of those would go, um, you know, I worked a couple of games with the Falcons this year and, and had some great stuff with Matt Ryan. Um, you know, so I just, you know, I, I put in where I was like, okay, these kind of speak to me a little bit in some way, shape or form. You know, I've seen this contest over the years. There are amazing past winners. There are amazing images like the company of, of, of all the previous recipient award recipients is just, they're all awesome in their own right. And I'm not trying to be vague and over complimentary, but, there's some sick images. So right. I just felt like when I took the approach to it this year, I said, look, I didn't want to make it such action centric because unless I had like the play of all plays, I just wanted to maybe just pre present a different view and maybe just something different. And I got lucky this year. Yeah, you did. And we're looking forward to honoring you and your work here okay. in Canton, Ohio awesome. uh, during Enshrinement Week. So I'll know, I know Salim is going to be back in touch with you with everything, Great. but we thank you for giving us your time for no, this Hall you. of Fame archive exclusive.
Thank you. I appreciate it.